Hey guys, RC here, back with FM20, the beta release. We are playing with Real Madrid, and this is episode 6 of the said beta save, beta save, however you pronounce it. It's the pre-release save. Um, so, we had, <laughs> I'm still, uh, I recorded the Leipzig match two days ago. I think it was two days ago and I'm still just blown away that we qualified out of champions league. Uh, anyway, needed to come back, get another episode done. So I've played a handful of games. We have not been stellar. Uh, I played a full rotation squad against Mets, had a one, one draw. Uh, Luka Jovic did score. Um, I'm very thin up top. Uh, at the striker position and we're we're struggling up there to be fair uh, we played atletico madrid had a 2-2 draw eden hazard and luka modric uh, with a with two goals in a one minute span uh, valencia we uh, went to penalties in the super cup semifinal and won on penalties uh, eden hazard ramos benzema and isco all scored uh Pretty lucky being that Luka Modric celebrated a brand new contract getting sent off in the 15th minute. I guess he had some uh, some bonus money he wanted to go spend that day or something and wanted an early start. Uh, Eden Hazard put us up 1-0. We gave up the equalizer. Uh, probably pretty lucky to make it to, uh, to penalties being a man down. Uh, then we got drilled by... Uh, Barcelona, Messi with two goals, including a penalty uh, in the Super Cup final. Uh, we have won 4-2 over Laganas and 4-0 over Granada. Uh, Vinicius Jr. with uh, a three-minute brace. Luka Jovic scored again. Gareth Bale with a goal. And uh, Luka Jovic, Eden Hazard, Modric, and Bale uh, with goals. All four of them coming before Herrera was sent off. So that didn't really play a role. Uh, today we're back for Lugo and Getafe uh, in the Spanish Cup third round and another first division match. Taking a look at the first division, we are seven points adrift of Barcelona. <sighs> we're not having a horrible season, all things considered, but just, just not quite there. And I'll be honest. You guys know I've, I rarely, if ever, play with top clubs. In fact, my beta save last year for FM19 was uh, was Rangers. So that's you know Rangers, Leeds United. Those are kind of the top level clubs that I play with, and it always takes me a a, a season or two, I think, to really get get the feel of a club and kind of get a grip. And you guys may remember uh, last year in the Journeyman, Montes uh, was it Montessoro? I think Montessoro FC uh, was our first club, and we really put them in bad financial straits, to be fair. Um, but it takes me a little while to kind of get the feel. And then dealing with a club that has, you know, cabillions of dollars, this club is struggling financially. <laughs> so we're 45 million in the hole. We've got 200. Now we've gone into the transfer window, but you know, we're, we're under the payroll and, but we've spent a good bit of money. So let's go through the transfers first. Cause there's quite a few deals that have happened. Uh, let's see. A lot of those took place before I got here. So we're looking for, yeah, here we go. All right. So, um, Ayub Abu, he's a younger player. He's gone out on loan 11 and a half thousand per month in fees. Casemiro, uh, very good player. Just basically from the day I walked into the club, he's had, uh, he's had a Jones to leave. So we sold him for $84 million to Tottenham. And just out of curiosity, yeah, now he's valued at $87 million. Um, 
One of the things that I don't get in Football Manager, especially, and we dealt with it in, in Brazil a lot in the journeyman last year, was these buyouts. So you put a buyout, and I was noticing one of my players on Real Madrid had a buyout of over $1 billion. And I don't think there's any player that's untouchable. But being that we're in financial straits, I was looking to move a few of our more expensive players. And Casemiro, 41 caps, uh, you know, only one goal. Um, again, very good, but he hasn't wanted to play. So, you know, he's, he's re re basically refused to play for me uh, for Real Madrid from the day I got here. And so he was loaned out, I believe was what his deal was. Yeah, we had loaned him to Tottenham at the beginning of the season. And uh, that's hilarious. He's playing a 5-8 in his first match. Sweet. Uh, but Tottenham made an offer for him. Uh, so we've made money on him. But, but, um, you know, I, I would have liked to have played him in our defensive mid position. But, you know, he's wanted out. But when I go, you'll you'll see when I show you the guys that we bid on, you know, Clubs want insane amounts of money, and you can't talk them down to these realistic numbers that are near their value. Um, but none of the clubs, nobody will pay us that kind of money. I, you know, so I, I don't know. Are you guys experiencing the same thing? It's weird. A um, couple of younger players out on loan. Uh, Valverde uh, was a, um, he was a younger player. Again, gave us a lot of grief. Wanted out. Again, a player I could have probably used. Um, we had, uh, you know, he had played 17 matches this year, all starts, but uh, just, you know, really was giving me some problems. So we moved him for $19.75 million to FC Bayern. Again, I think he's probably, you know, at 21 with that skill – we probably should have been able to get 60 or 70 million for him. Nope. Nobody would even come close. So we end up getting less. In fact, I was turning down bids at 16 and 17 million. So I got one that was at 1975. I jumped on it. And uh, Isco. Um, Isco was one of the guys that, that, who was the guy? No, I brought in Danny Olmo. Isco, I really liked him, played a lot of positions, but he hadn't played a lot. Well, no, I take that back. He had played 19 matches, but mostly off the bench. This was a cost-cutting move. Um, he played relatively well. He played all the way across the board, but he wasn't, he wasn't one of our starters. And uh, so, again, I thought a player, this was the guy that had over a billion-dollar buyout in his contract. Nah, not. but we ended up getting $78 million for him from Man United. The other guy is our primary striker, spent much of the first half of the season uh, injured. He comes to me, and he's unsettled, and he misses home. He's French, and we're right across the border in Spain. But he's unsettled. He, he misses home, wants to go back to France. I'm, you know, I kind of like, you know, dude, you're just, you know, there's not an option for dude. You're just coming back to health. And I really, so I, I tried to kiss his ass a little bit. Hey, you know, you're very important to the team. And he's like, you know, it's flattering to hear that, but I really want to go. So, um, you know, I said, look, you're just going to have to be a professional. But then uh, I put, I went ahead and transfer listed him. Nobody offered for him. PSG came in for a loan. They're paying 90% of his wages. So that cuts our cuts our overhead at least. And uh, but letting go of a striker and being that we're thin at striker, I had to go out and make a move. So I looked at a couple of players, and oh my God, there were like ten strikers that fit our profile, you know, or at least had ratings that would be decent enough to come to Real Madrid. This was literally the cheapest guy. The cheapest guy, a hundred and sixteen million dollars. He's he was valued like at sixteen million in England. He, he is a wonder kid. He is a wonder kid. 
Uh, now he's valued at 69, four and a half star potential. Really good finishing, good acceleration. Everything else is very, very solid. So he's going to play up top for us. I don't know if he'll start or if he'll be in rotation. He's going to get a shot because nobody is freaking scoring goals for us out of that striker position. Bear with me here a second. Uh, just got to get comfortable. All righty. And um, I was looking, we were very weak at left back, so I splashed $51 million on Alex Tellis from FCP. Uh, very, very good crossing, good physicals. He's only three-star, but, and look, he was already playing in the first division, $64 million. I got, you know, got a little bit of a bargain on him, I think. But two signings, $167 million. And I do have a offer out on this guy. They've accepted a $32.5 million offer. Uh, we've got a contract offer. Hopefully he signs because I really... I really am not liking Cruz's defending in that defensive mid. I'd much rather put him up into the midfield and let him be up there, uh, play the central mid instead of the defensive mid. So this guy's a little bit better defensively, but still has solid passing, which fits that, that spot that I want back there. So hopefully he signs. We've got a bid on him. Uh, they've all, they've accepted the offer Levante has, so we'll see. We'll see. So that's what's going on there. Let's go ahead and get into today's match. Uh, we are road favorites, pretty heavy. It is a raining, 57 degrees. All right, so Militao, Odrazola, Ramos. Tellez is going to get his debut for us. Uh, so he's coming in. And uh, Cruz, yeah, boy, I just, oof. can either one of these guys play defensive mid? Because I just don't like him back there. Uh, Cruz. See, Modric cannot play defensive mid. And, all the, and his market, his defense is horrible as well. I really just don't have anybody. <laughs> I just don't. Uh, you know what? Let's uh, let's add a filter from our B team. See if that adds any more players. Calderon. Honestly, he's not horrible. I think he's a better. Let's see what that does. No, it doesn't change anything. All right. Um, you know what? Greenwood. I'm going to give Greenwood his, his debut to start. Um, he made his debut last match, but this will be his, his uh, first start for the club. So let's put him in. Uh, Jovic, he's got what? Four goals and nine. Not horrible, but four goals and... 15 overall we're just really struggling up there bales our big score but let's give greenwood a start uh alex Tellez, number 12 that left back hazard bale pick up where you left off all right uh, by the way, uh, if you were following along for FM19, uh, I did finish the final season at Paysandu in Brazil uh, over the weekend. Put that episode up last night. All right, here's Modric. Headed down. Oh, cleared out. All right, Tellus makes his highlight debut. Gareth Bale. Cruz. All right, outside to Tellus. He comes inside, finds Hazard. Hazard taken down in the box. He's going to take the penalty. 
I always want to bite my nails when he lines up for a penalty after the first two of the season. Fuck me. Ugh. What a bellend. Holy shit. All right, Modric, Ramos. Uh, Bale with a header off the mark. 10 to 2 on shots, only 3 on target. Whipped in. Bale into the corner of the net, his 13th of the season. Nice set piece. Let's give him some praise. 1 0. This is one of those matches I think we should be. Oh, God, I don't want to say anything. Oh, my goodness. Ramari, just wide of the mark. Oh, my God, that was not in. Oh, I thought that was in. Oh, Gareth Bale, another set piece header. What a magician. I don't understand why they want to get rid of him. That's all you that's all you see in the rumors is, you know, Gareth Bale not wanted by the manager. Can he get a third hitter? Uh Barrow. I think he took that right off of Bale's head. <laughs> uh, who's putting the pressure? Bale. Oh. Bale just prowling. That was brutal. Ouch! Christian Herrera makes us look like a second division club. We are leaky on defense. Get creative. All right, Ramos. Up to Hazard. Out to Tellas. Drops it back to Cruz. Odrazola. Loses it. Played around with the ball too much. All right, Militao. Up to Olmo. Bale. Nice ball out to the touchline, and I don't know what the hell that was. Jeez. All right, another nice ball out. Oh, what a turnaround by Luka Modric. Nice goal, his seventh of the season. Mason Greenwood gets the assist. Let's watch that again because that's the first time he's on the score sheet. I think that's, that's him right there. All right, I think that I think he flubbed that actually. I don't know that that was a real assist attempt. But it goes into the books as an assist. Good job. He's playing a 7. Woo! <laughs> How crazy. All right. Can we get a last shot on goal? Olmo Modric. Another nice run by Odrazola. Oh, my God, Danny Omo. What a blast. A bullet off the right leg, left side of the goal in his second of the season. Four to one as we head to the half. That was a nice ball. 20 shots, 11 on target. Nice. A lot of dangerous attacks have involved Gareth Bale. All right, excellent efforts. Um... Well, we got a lot of complacent people. I'm going to tell them to concentrate. I mean, it's not like we've got a clean sheet going. We've already given up a goal. All right. Looks like it skimmed the top of the bar. All right. Tell us. Ooh, heavy touch there. Well, that was a nice ball over the top. Nobody got between him and the goal. They were all standing off to the sides. 
Hmm. All right. Um, Eden Hazard, you are being complacent. So let's bring uh, Vinicius Jr. in for you. And Alex Tellas making your debut. I really don't want to play Mindy. Let's play Carvajal out there. Mindy's Mindy's going to be our between Mindy and Tellas. Those are going to be our two rotational players. Carvajal's really a step back at left back. And I really want to sign that defensive mid. Oh, he fought through that. Olmo, Cruz, out to Odrazol. In. Uh, Modric, his eighth goal off the left leg. Brilliant header over to him. Nice job. Liking that. We're going to call off the dogs here. We're going to go down to balanced. I'm going to let Greenwood see it out. I would like. Ooh. I would like to get Bale off. Um, attacking mid right. Luca Vasquez for Bale. Rest Bale's legs a little bit. Two goals for him. Not the most exciting match for you guys, but... Oh, that was not a good clearance. Oh. Shit. First goal of the season. Concentrate. They're overwhelmed. Okay, well, there's the first bit of science. Don't tell them to concentrate because that just screws with them. A missed penalty by Hazard, and then he went complacent on me. Bale, Modric, great games. Oh, boy. Uh, Real Madrid aren't as good as they think. Tellez makes his debut. Modric, two goals, two assists. Yes, you were. That's why I wanted to play with Real Madrid. Um, <laughs> yeah, we'll take a little snipe at him. Uh, so let's see. We want to come back. You know what? I'm going to play Gattafi off camera. Let's come back for the Spanish Cup fourth round when we know who it is. See you guys back here in a second. All right, guys. I've decided to come back for the league match against Gattafi. We drew uh, Aish in the uh, fourth round. They're a uh, second division team, so... I said, eh, let's, let's go ahead and get past that. So we'll do that. Then we'll come back for Napoli and Barcelona, I believe. And then um, probably Napoli and either. Let's come back for Bilbao because we've already played Villarreal, have we not? I believe we have. More transfer news. Um, Nikola Busevich. Signs for $32.5 million. He will slot now. We didn't get rave reviews about him. Felt he would be a B-team player at best. A little ridiculed uh, in the press. And where is... Um... Oh, these are new. 
We don't have the board anymore. Uh, so we only have a C plus. Concerned about the finances involved in the deal to sign Greenwood. Yeah. So delighted. Very pleased. Very pleased. Disappointed on the commercial revenue. I don't know how we figure into that. I don't know how I have anything to do with that. Um, disappointed with the first division thus far. Please not judging. Just a C plus, huh? So that's club info. I mean, this is this is the board screen, right? Uh, members, no performance. Oh, here we go. Um, so this is actually good. So we have a C on the vision, B minus on matches, C plus on transfers by the board and the fans, A minus on tactics, A plus on the squad. So the squad will come from our dynamics. We're doing very well there. Um, well, I don't know what promise I made to him, but it says I don't have a promise. Go figure that. Well, I did. I signed a defensive midfielder. And that's going to allow me to move Cruz up to the midfield, which strengthens the... See, he doesn't see the big picture. <laughs> uh, improve the coaching team. Well, whatever. And challenge for silverware. That's fine. All right. So what does that do to finances? Well, we're down to $17 million. We're right up against the payroll cap. I don't know. We'll see. We shall see. All right, we are road favorites, sold out. All right, Jovic, Greenwood to the bench, Hazard, Bale. Uh, no, this is not what I want. Um, Cruz, that is not what we're going to do here. Now, what is this? Yeah, there we go. Fitness concern. Well, you're almost at 100%. So I want attacking mid right and left, defensive right and left, striker. It's really that's really all the subs that I can have, isn't it? I want to play him. Boom, you're in. And that means you're out. Uh, tell us what's your fitness 97 played a 7 1 last game. Uh, hazard Vinicius Jr. got injured, uh, five to seven weeks. That's not going to help. Uh, Marco Asensio, uh, he's out for seven more weeks, so we'll get both of those guys back about the same time. And I'm looking forward to him. He's, he's pretty talented looking. We'll have to get him fit, but we did register him. He did register, so he'll be uh, hopefully available. Uh, Rodrigo is in Brazil. I'm going to go ahead and put, uh, I'm going to bring James Rodriguez on. Yep. Auto number, number 22. I hear you, I hear a lot of uh, people that watch FM videos on YouTube do not like the auto number. It's a game. What difference does it make? <laughs> I don't know. I've always done that. Oh, first yellow card. You're officially part of the club now, Alex Tellas. All right, we're in the white. Oh, look at that deft touch. And he didn't have a heavy touch on it. That was brilliant. Crossed in. 
Modric to the playmaker. Oh, look at that. Another completed pass. And he went heavy on the touch. Oh. What in the hell? Okay. I have no idea what they're doing. Did it go out of bounds, maybe? I have no clue. No. Uh, was it a call? Oh, man. That was a horrible call because, oh, well, I guess if it was a penalty for us. But, boy, that really cost them, did it not? Wow. Modric over the top. Nice ball. Oh, Modric, you should have taken that shot. Oh, he took one from range. Just a bit outside. That's got to be a penalty. Who's going to take it if Hazard's not there? I think Jovic got pushed in the box in the back. I think it's going to be a penalty. It'll be interesting to see who takes it. Hello. It's a penalty. Yep, pushed by Jason. Who's taking it? Number four. Number four, Sergio Ramos, the defensive center back and our captain. Hazard, that's how you take a penalty, man. You put it in the net. It's not trying to hit the keeper in the hands. To be honest, he puts them right there and the keeper makes worldly saves on them. But still, that's a moot point. He's butchered so many penalties. <laughs> Courtois. Well, it looks like we're going to be getting some bad news uh, for Leeds United. Um, our, uh, our keeper, Kiko Casilla. Oh, Bale. Nice. Is there another penalty? What the hell? Oh, my God. I, I didn't see anything there. I don't think they'd be going to the booth if there wasn't a penalty, but we'll see. Uh, so anyway, he's been accused uh, of uh, making a racial comment. Uh, no penalty. Mm, okay, whatever. And uh, here's here's what I'm... Here's what I'm upset about is... First off, I don't know what he said. If it was a racial slur, by all means, throw the book at him. Uh, I don't think there's any place in, for racism in in the world, let alone football. Um, and football is probably the most racist sport in the world. Um, and the fact that that kind of crap is still happening in the 21st century is pathetic. Um, oh, oh my God, he missed a sitter. Um, oh, that was brutal. <laughs> How the hell did you miss that? Uh, now there is some talk coming out that, you know, he speaks Spanish. He's in, Eng he's in England. So he's in an English speaking country, not his first language. And he was making a comment in Spanish where, uh, the word negro is Spanish for black. It's not a derivative of the N word or anything like that. Um, now if he meant it as you know, I don't know. But if it was racist, by all means, throw the book at him. But here's what upsets me. And I'm, I, I hate to get on my soapbox before we get back into the match. You have a club like Derby that circumvents the rules by selling their stadium multiple times, I believe, for double or triple the actual appraised value 
in order for them to comply with FFP and nothing happens. And then you have two play three players from Derby and this this really threw me off. So you have two guys that are drunk and driving two different cars and you have a third player who's drunk that is a passenger. Now there's no law against being drunk and being a passenger last I checked in any country. Well, there may be a few out there, but I don't want to get into religion. Uh, these two guys get in an accident, leave the scene of the accident, leaving their injured teammate. That's great. His career's probably over, or his season's over for sure. The two players get a very minor slap on very minor slap on the wrist i don't even I, I don't even know that they were fined they certainly were not suspended they played in the next match and then derby comes out and voids the contract of the one innocent person in this whole thing and i hate that guy anyway the the big goofy looking defender but that's just me as a leeds fan but he's the only innocent one in the whole bunch here he was a passenger and he's the one that Derby voids his contract because he wouldn't take a pay cut because he got hurt because of these two other idiots. But they don't do anything to those two guys that were driving. Derby is a joke. And the league did not come out and do anything against Dart Derby or those two guys. That's a joke. Then you've got a whole country in the recent Champions League that was called out for racism, that there was talk that they might make them play behind closed doors for two matches. Woo. I mean, is that really a penalty? Uh, they're still going to get their money. The club's not really penalized. The fans are the ones that are hurt a little bit. But nothing happened to the fans, all the fans that were doing it from that country. And then... Leeds has a Spanish guy that uses the Spanish word for black, and he's looking at probably a 12-game suspension. Utter shit. Utter shit. Anyway, <laughs> off the soapbox, let's get back to some football. <sighs> um, right? <laughs> Calm down, RC. Jesus. All right, we need to get creative here. All right. A little anxiousness. Oh, man, man, man. Everybody's playing well. You know what? I'm going to bring Greenwood on as a winger. He can play out there. I want to try him in a couple of positions and really get a feel for where he, you know, where he may be a best fit. Oh, nice clearance to Kennedy. Olmo pounces on that. He's off to the races. He's taken down. That's got to be a sending off. Even if he didn't have a yellow, that has to be a sending off. Well, only a yellow, but it, it's a red. Second yellow. Militao. Oh, <laughs> he, he wasn't feeling any pressure. He just waited on the ball. Nice. Oh, Mindy into the box. Oh, Modric heads one goalward. Come on, boys. Push forward. Demand more. Do something. Jesus. Um Yeah, you're gonna you're gonna have to go all the way through there, bud. He's playing a 7-2. He's playing pretty well. Um Odrazola.
Yeah, let's bring in Carvajal. Try to firm up that back line. All right, Carvajal with the throw. Oh, look at him fight through. He fought through the tackle twice. Modric. Olmo. I've been really happy with his passing and his ball movement. Much, much better than Cruz, I got to say. Oh, my God, Modric, come on. Try shooting at the net part, guys. Have you guys, there was this uh, thing I saw on Facebook uh, recently, and it had these fans, and they all had these signs with arrows that they're holding up, pointing at, towards where the goal is. And they're like, as the players are dribbling back and forth across the face of the goal, the, the fans are running across the stands, changing the direction of the arrow. <laughs> it was hilarious. I was like, yep, yeah, we could use that. We could use that here. All right, Modric. All right, good cross to Bale. Carvajal out on the wing. All right, Carvajal came back very well. Oh, Modric with the goal. What a blast off the cross. Put a lot of pace on that ball. Blew it off the hands of the keeper. Very, very nice. All right, that's going to be the comfortable goal to give us the advantage. Thank goodness. Still, I think this ought to be a goal, that a game that we should have won a little bit better, possibly. Greenwood fights through that. Not the best cross in. Mindy back to Vucevic. There's a long shot. Carvajal, the right back. Comes off the bench, his second goal of the season to put it away and make it look like a comfortable victory. Changing the face of men's health. Modric had a shot inside the six and did not score. Okay. Well, 3-0. Did well. Excellent efforts. And... Yes, impressive. Uh, does it tell me? Let's take a look at him here real quick. So that was his. That was his first match, right? He won. He wins Player of the Match in his debut. Eighty-nine percent passing, nice. And an 8-6 rating. How sick. I am liking that. And they were not happy with this signing. I want people to remember that. Now, they turned out to be shit at the end of the day. Uh, your passing was a joy to behold. All right, guys. Uh, I think we said we'll come back for uh, Napoli-Barcelona. So, we've got a few matches off camera. Hit that like button for me. Subscribe if you're new. I don't think I have any new people to welcome, but let's double check because I do like to give credit and thank people. Um, nope, I got everybody. Just Mike Plays and Ashlyn Shane, the last two. Uh, so welcome to them. And uh, guys, we will see you next time. Are we going to catch Barcelona? I really doubt it, and Madrid is right up our butt. And Villarreal is not too far behind, so we've got our work cut out for us. See you guys. Bye.